So I welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and this series will consist of important MCQ questions and answer on digital image processing and this questions answering session is especially important for those candidates preparing for UGC and TA net examination, set examination, PhD entrance examination, ISRO scientist posts and different placement interviews and other competitive examinations. Okay, especially uh, questions on digital image processing used to be asked at higher level of competitive examinations. Well, uh, about the theoretical topics that I have already uh, illustrated in my digital image processing lecture series. So, if any topic if you find difficult, you can tell me and also you can go through the uh, means my previous lectures on those topics so that the basic concept will be clear to you. Well, myself Dr. Dibas Dibara. So let's start today's session. Do remember that after each question, I will pause for 10 seconds. And within that time, you will try to answer the question by commenting the answer. When the session is complete, you find out that what are the correct numbers of, what is the correct uh, means uh, number of questions that you have answered, means you have answered correctly and tell me what is that, means out of that question, say you have uh, cor uh, correctly answered seven questions, then you do tell me, okay, and one question will be asked at the end. Don't forget to answer that question. So let's start. First question is the transition between continuous values of the image function and its digital equivalent is called fill in the blank. Option A quantization, option B sampling, option C rasterization, option D none of the mention. So guys, you have 10 seconds. Time started now. Well, the answer to this question is option A, that is quantization. So transition between continuous values of the image function and its digital equivalent is called quantization. Coming to the question number two, what is the tool used in talks such as zooming, shrinking, and rotating ETC? Option A, sampling. Option B, interpolation. Option C, filters. And option D, none of the mentioned. Time start now. Well, time completes. The answer to this question is option B, that is interpolation. So we use interpolation in zooming, shrinking, rotating. Coming to the next question, question number three. The digitization process, that is the digital image, has M rows and N columns, requires decisions about the values for M and and for the number L of gray levels allowed for each pixel. The value M and N have to be, option N, M and N have to be positive integer, option B, M and N have to be negative integer, M have to be negative and N have to be positive integer, then option D, M have to be positive and have to be negative integer. So time started. Well, three seconds left. Yeah, the answer to the question is option A. That is, all this M and N have to be positive integers. I have illustrated many times in my lectures. So this is an easiest one. 
So M and N both are positive integers. Coming to the next question number four. Blind image disconvolution is option A combination of blur identification and image restoration. Option B combination of segmentation and classification. Option C combination of blur and non blur image. Option D none of the above. Time started. Well, time's up. So, answer to this question is option A. And this is very important and previously asked in UGC NTA net examination. UGC net examination, okay. So, in image processing, blind deconvolution is a deconvolution technique that permits recovery of the target skin means in from a single or a set of blurred images in the presence of poorly determined or unknown point spread function that is PSF. Guys, I will try to include some important means uh, fact or explanation regarding the answer. So, you don't need to worry about. Okay. So, I will try my best to include those explanations so that it will help you to understand the question. So, answer is blind. The image disconvolution is the combination of what? Blur identification and image restoration. Clear? So, coming to the next question, question number five. Which of the following is not an image type using MPEG? Option A, A frame, option B, B frame, option C, D frame, and option D, P frame. Time started. Well, answer to this question is option A. As you know, we have only I, P, D, B frame. Okay, so A frame is not associated with MPZ. And about this frame, I frame is an abbreviation for intra frame, so called because they can be decoded independently of any other frames. P frame is an abbreviation of for predicted frame and D frames or DC fixtures are independent images and B frame stands for bidirectional frame and this question is asked was asked uh, in ISRO 2015 so image processing is important for the scientist post also and PhD entrance examinations also so this subject is very important for you okay answer is option A coming to the next question number six which of the following compression algorithm is used to generate a .png file? Option A, LZ78. Option B, Deflate. Option C, LZW. Option D, Huffman. Time started. Well, answer to this question is option B. As PNG uses a non-patented loseless data compression method known as Deflate. Clear. So, coming to the next question, number 7. In an image compression system, 16384 bits are used to represent 250 cross 250 cross image with 256 gray levels. What is the compression ratio for this system? It's very important question. Option A, 1. Option B, 2. Option C, 4. Option D, 8. And you can take a screenshot. Coming to the answer, answer is what? 32. That is, you know, compression ratio is what? 250 cross 250 cross 8 divided by this 16384. So, answer is, is it matching here? So, you do tell me. And coming to the next questions, next question is, which of the following is not used in standard JPG image compression? Option A, Huffman coding. Option B, run length encoding. Option C, zigzag scan. Option D, KL transform. And this question, I leave it to you guys to comment the answer. So, meet you in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.